Good morning everyone, Kirby Momo 3 here, and I'm going to show you my tip on how I make lazy pancakes. Yes, lazy pancakes. I came up with this one day because I couldn't find a mixing bowl. So I used, dun dun da a blender. Yes. You put all your pancake crap in there. Your flour, your salt, baking powder, or baking soda, baking powder, butter, vanilla, sugar, flour, milk, whatever else you like to put in there. Sometimes a little lemon juice is really good. Just throw it all in the blender and you just give it a good whirl. And then it's easy. You don't even have to measure. You just pour it onto your griddle. It's pretty freaking awesome. And the best part. You just gotta rinse out the blender and then ta-da, you're done with a little soapy water and dishes are easy. Bada bing, bada boom. Aren't you guys lucky today? Not only do you get one vlog, you get two other vlogs I decided to put into this one. Not only do you get my lazy pancake recipe for the single price of $4.99, I will also add, nah, just kidding, a new creation I'm coming up with. <clears throat> Well, it's probably not new. It's probably been around, but it's new to me. So, um, ooh, these things are getting hot. I'm gonna do pancake sausages. Basically what I'm doing first, make sure the sausage is cooked, is I'm browning the sausage a little bit on each side, and then I'm going to take them off, let them cool for a minute, pour down some pancake batter, put your sausage in the middle, pour more pancake batter over it, and make them that way. It's gonna be yummy. Anyways, there's the pancakes from the uh, blender, ready to, whoops, casualty, nah, my counters are clean for once. Anyways, they're ready to come off, and then I'm ready to put some more on, and also I'm going to show you how to make a ridiculously easy, like stupid easy, uh, strawberry syrup from scratch that has no preservatives and not too bad on the calories when I come back. Well, that didn't come out according to plan. It looks like a big pile of crap. Maybe it'll be good when it gets done. Anyways, moving right along while those are cooking to the homemade syrup. Get your pot, get it hot. Super easy. You just chop up some whole strawberries, or you can leave them whole if you're really being lazy. <laughs> just I just rough chopped them here. And you're just gonna add them to your pan. I don't know how to, let me see if I can set it up. Okay, just add them to your pan like so. Do, 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 do. Excuse the recycled makeup and messy hair and pajamas. Whoops, lost a strawberry. Anyways, <clears throat> let that warm up for a little bit. <clears throat> and to this we're gonna add just a little bit of sugar. I don't, I, I don't even measure, I just dump. I'm a dumper. Eh, about that much. It looks good. I don't like it too sweet. Too sweet is disgusting. And then just throw that over there. Oh, well, you know, they might be okay. I don't know. That's why I like to experiment. <laughs> Trial and error. In fact, most of my amazing meal plans usually come from not having any money and having limited resources, and so you have to get clever. Um, anyways, I uh, don't know if I have any spoons. Oh, I have one spoon. This will work. Actually, I use my mini whisk. I like these ceramic uh, cookwares. They're pretty cool and stuff. Dang it. It's stuck. Ah! Okay. Uh, give that a quick little whisk -do. And once that's cooked a little bit, isn't he cute? Mr. Eggie, I got him for free. Oh, look what else I got for free. These awesome red hot chili pepper lights. Heck yeah, yeah. Free. In our neighborhood, we like to put free things on the corner of our street or, you know, out by the curb, I meant to say. And I like to put free things out there too. It's just kind of a nice way to give them back. Next, dump some cornstarch on top of your goo mixture. I don't know. I've, ooh, the lid's in there still. <laughs> I really don't measure, I just dump, right? I don't even know. It depends on how thick you like it. If you're a measurer, I'm sure you can find a nice little uh, recipe like on Pinterest or some crap like that. Anyways, you want it to look like that. It looks like poo. 
Um, then you're gonna add a little bit of water. I don't feel like dirtying a dish. So what I usually do is I just take the whole pan over to the sink, add a little bit of water, eh, just to cover it. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not feeling very good today. Um, Wow, that looks like diarrhea water. It's disgusting. Anyways, you're going to cook that up, stir it, keep it moving, and then it'll thicken once it sits. So the goal here is to um, get it nice and warm and ow, that hurt. <laughs> uh, oh, we're ready to turn those pancakes. It could chill out there for a minute. We want to bring it to a nice boil and then, um, yeah, let it sit. Okay. An attempt to do this in one swoop. Ready? One. Two, three, ha -cha! Oh yeah, I am the kitchen ninja. <laughs> Anyways, you know, it might not be too bad. My, this might be my husband's pancake. He's like, I don't know what y'all are eating, but I'm having this. Anyways, I'll be back with the finished product and a taste test. And I'm back with a la finished product. This is my breakfast. Got the homemade syrup and the lazy pancakes. And everyone seems to be enjoying, excuse the messy house, it's morning. Hey, so do you like that sausage one? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is it good stuff? Oh, look at all this awesome fruit my dad gave me. He rocks. I'll show you some more tips on how to preserve your summer fruit in a little bit. But, yep, yeah, everyone happy? Yep. Everyone enjoying? Mama, I'm in paradise now. All right. Ew, Justice. All right, there's your tip for the day. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.